Boom shakalaka. I think we're live. I think we're live from the hotel room. I think we are. What's up everybody? Hope you can hear me okay. Let me know if you can hear me, see me, blah, blah. I know this is weird. I'm looking here. Camera's here. It's weird. Because it's like, let me hang on. Maybe if I do this. Yeah, maybe that way. I was overthinking it. PHH. Oh, man. Christina Payne, Anne-Marie, Lady Days, Kimmy, AC Studios, Robert, Mary Triple Seven, Daniel, Josh Pence. What's up, the Funko Warrior? Wow, we're in a hotel room. This is so weird. This is like straight up. I wonder if I can, like, literally. Hang on. We're gonna do a. We're gonna do. We're gonna do a selfie. Hang on. Right there. YouTube selfie. Bam. <laughs> Father Funko, what's up? So this is literally. I mean. That's the setup right now. It's crazy. <laughs> oh, and don't be getting no ideals because there's the bed. King size right there. <laughs> Robert Banks YouTube, what's up? What's up? So, how's everybody doing tonight? I'm uh, on the third floor of a hotel room. I'm so, this is so freaking me out right now. I've got to do something. Because I can't, maybe that'll work. Yes. Feeling down the dumps. What's wrong, bro? Uh, I'm in Birmingham, Alabama. Um, I'm redoing uh, part of our offices. I'm consolidating two floors down to one. Got a bunch of equipment I'm unhooking and stuff. But yeah, Birmingham, Alabama, freaking Bama. Um, there's a lot of disappointed people right now because of the uh, national championship game. Yes, go Clemson, go Tigers. <laughs> hey, best team won. They went 15 and 0. That hadn't been done like in a hundred years. Seamus, what's up? Elizabeth Stuff, how you doing? Haley, what's up? Sarah, what's up? Danny, what's up? Try to get everybody, you know? Um, so yeah, we're just gonna chat a little bit. Um, I do have these. These fragile boxes. Fragile. Fernando, what's up? But here's the thing. We're not even going to talk about these right now. So the hotel I'm in, this is how, this is so cool. En, en, enjoy beverages from 5.30 to 7, right? This is my drink card. I get three. Three tonight. Free. <laughs> oh, dude, yeah, college, man. Just, hey, dude, college is rough, but, man, keep just keep grinding it. It'll all be worth it in the long run. Um, trust me. I think my worst semester that I ever did, I did 18 credit hours in a semester and was working 56 hours a week. That was the most stupidest thing I ever done in college. That's insane. Yeah. Do a giveaway, really? Man, not even a hey, how you doing? Just do a giveaway. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah. Hopefully the Wi-Fi here stays pretty good. Um, you know, it's it's hit and miss when it comes to. Uh, to Wi-Fi. Oh, is it freezing? Let me look here. Hang on. Please no. Please no. Uh, it's buffering. Yeah, it's gonna buffer. Yeah. 
This sucks. Sorry, guys. Yeah. Hotel. Hotel Wi-Fi. You know what? Let me move it away. Maybe, maybe it'll get better. Let's keep our fingers crossed. Let's 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 hope for good things. Yeah, it's going to suck. I'm sitting here looking at it, and it's just like I'm like. <laughs> um, hang on a minute. I don't want to. Dang it. I'm frustrated now. What's that, Funko Warrior? I'm trying to look. And, okay, it looks like it's sort of better now. Okay. Uh, okay, don't leave me in suspense, Funko Warrior. What's up? There'll be one next week. Maybe I was just too close to the screen. <laughs> Yeah, I tell you what, we probably won't, if it gets too crazy, then we'll just call it, but nice. Funko Warrior, your first video, awesome, dude. That's awesome. Yeah, I'm sitting here, I'm watching two of me right now. I will check that out. Rowdy Pops, what's up? Just chilling here in the hotel room. I got uh, two mystery boxes from Poptopia. And I meant to take a screen grab of, it was the last one they had. <sighs> and I failed. So I can't even tell you what all was going to be in it. Oh, what pop am I looking forward to releasing soon? More ad icons. <laughs> so here's the thing. All right, so I tell you what. Since everything seems to be going good now, why don't we just go ahead and get this over with just in case. So here's the deal. So I went to Poptopia. I think these were like $30 boxes. Um, you pick your number. And... Uh, I brought these with me on the trip. I picked them up in my P.O. box on the way out of town. Um, no, I did not, Funko Vince. No, I did not, Daniel. So, um, I don't know I don't know how you guys pick the numbers, but here's the crazy thing. So, I picked number 55 because that's how old I am. And I picked number 63 because that's the year I was born. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, that was my uh, rhyme and reason. <laughs> you know, I, I like, I mean, I, I give everybody a fair chance. I don't care. I mean, it's 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 all good fun. So we're going we're gonna to open number 63 first. We're not even waiting. We're, we're just going right into it. Because with the Wi-Fi the way it is, I want you guys to at least be able to share this with me. Because I have no, I, I forgot. I forgot what the good ones were. Awesome, Rowdy. Sharing. Yeah, I'm sharing my secrets. I'm, I'm old as dirt, and I just used that as an excuse to pick my numbers. All right, so... I'm going to let you guys sort of, wait a minute, I'll get this out, don't need that. Oh, okay, so there's two pops in here, Harold Green, what's up? So, they're individually wrapped, mm -hmm. alright, so, Okay, so they're, they're in soft protectors, of course. So let me see if I can 
figure out. Okay, that's the bottom. So I'm gonna let you guys see it. Am I gonna be happy? <laughs> Am I gonna be happy or sad? <laughs> okay, first and foremost, I do not have this one, so that's a win. That's a win. I do not have this one. I'm. I don't have a lot of Stranger Things pops, but that was pretty cool. The Burger Tea. Okay. I have been wanting to get Dustin into hockey gear though. So, okay. I got to be neat because this isn't my room. <laughs> All right. Hey, hey, Simone, there's a, all right, so, there's a piece of paper on top of this one. It's like stuck down in it, and I can't remember what that means. But there's legitimately a piece of paper. I'm just taking it out. I don't care. Are you freaking kidding me? I got another Pred I got the fugitive predator chase. My buddy can't pull hook me up with this. Um, but number 63. <laughs> right there. That's cool. I already have this one because like I said, my buddy Kent Pool got me this for my birthday. But I don't care. I like the I like the predator. So I'm good with that. I'm happy with that. Yes, Dustin in the hockey gear looks really, really good for some strange reason. All right, so this is out of box number 63. So, just out of curiosity, let's see if I can do this while they're in the pop stacks. Let's see if this will work. Okay, so... Uh, 11 in the burger t-shirt is worth eight dollars <laughs> and the predator chase is 19 so that's what 20 uh 19 27 yeah. yeah that's right 27 30 dollar box yeah i'm happy with that those are two cool uh, boom you want to lab it underwater. Okay. Now, number 55 is heavy. And it's heavier than 63, but they're in the same box. So I don't know what this could be. I did bring the official unboxing knife with me. So, I don't know. I mean, 55 is a good number. I'm going to peek a little bit. So, I'm going to get this out of the way. Okay, so there's two things in it. Again. Right there. Should I go big or little? No, that's that's too big for, for a hard stack. All right, let's do the little one first. Oh, little one, no, oh, the little one's got some weight to it. Hang on, man. I'm gonna let you guys decide: the big one or the little one. Big or little? Ooh, I saw some yellow on the. I saw some yellow on the big one. <laughs> What's weird is, 
This one weighs more. The little one weighs more than the big one does. Shut your mouth, Robert. <laughs> I'm going to open the big one. Since I already peeked, I saw, I saw this right here. Uh-oh. It's got a piece of paper on it, too, like the Predator did. It's got number 55 on it. Well, shut my mouth. GameStop exclusive, Aquaman, the Jim Lee Deluxe. I've been looking at this. I do not have this. I've been looking at it. Um, that's cool. I'm happy with that. 8-bit. You know what, Steven? You're probably right. You're probably right. All right, here we go. All right, it's in a soft protector. Uh, I'm gonna try to. I'm gonna try to do this. I, this is the bottom of it. So let's try to do this sort of slowly. Oh, 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 oh! If this is the chase for this predator hound, I'm gonna lose my lid. Oh, 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 oh. <sighs> but here's the thing. I have a predator hound, but do I have this one? Hey, I'm in a predator, and it's a predator pop, so I'm happy with that. I'm happy. All right, let's see. Let's see here. Okay. So, the chase is the green one. All right, so, the Predator Hound is $11. I bet you this Jim Lee thing is not even in stash yet. <laughs> No data, no trending value, no data. Add to collection. Uh, but that's sweet. I'm going to take this one out of the box. You don't care if I take it out of the box, do you? I know, right, Haley? Two Predator Pops. And like I said, I'm a huge Predator fan. I love all things Predator. Ooh, hang on. I just... Decrease the value on this because I cut the tape. Funko Preacher, what's up? Because I want to see what this looks like. Because when I first saw this, I thought, man, this thing's got some really good detail to it. And I was absolutely correct. Check this thing out. Check that detail out. That is cool looking. Dude, I'm... That's cool. I'm happy with that. So I think overall... Like I said, you know, 30, 30 bucks a box. I mean, these things at GameStop are what, 20? What are these things at GameStop? Let's check the Google. Let's check Google. Google knows all. Uh, da, da, da. Aquaman Deluxe. GameStop. Let's see here. Okay, so GameStop's got it for twenty five bucks. So and then the Predator handles what eleven. So yeah, overall um, I broke even. Broke even. So here's the thing. 
Hang on. Let me, uh, oh, ooh, hang on. So at the end of the day, I mean, you really can't complain about breaking even, right? No. And I got three out of the four pops I really, really want. I already have this one, and I already have this one, but that's okay. And I've seriously been looking at this one to go with my Aquaman set. So, yeah. Um, I do have a few. I'm not going to lie. This one right here, I probably, it might actually go on the toy wheel. This one might go on the toy wheel. Because a lot of people like Stranger Things. I don't have a lot of Stranger Things. So, yeah. I think that would be a good toy wheel addition. So, there we go. I drove four hours and brought mystery boxes with me to open with all of you. <laughs> JJ, I'm telling you, I'm, I'm, the color, the detail, and everything on this pop is, out of all the ones I've seen so far, like the Batman and the Joker, I think this one right here is the more detailed, more color, more pop. No pun intended. Um, so, yeah, no complaints there. None. Uh, yes, I changed my room. It's uh, called a hotel. <laughs> but nothing's going to stop the toy table. It travels. <laughs> toy table talk travels. liquid refreshments so how's everybody's day been oh I need to look at these pieces of paper oh oh I wish so keep calm you got an exclusive post on Instagram okay what does this one say Congratulations, you got a chase. Keep calm, post it on Instagram. That's cool. So, you know, um, I love mystery boxes. I love them. I love them. I love them. I think mystery boxes are like one of the greatest things ever. Um, they just are. It's fun. Just, dude, I'm going to try. Right, all the time. 2019 is going to be like live stream crazy. I'm going to live stream everything. <laughs> Not everything, but I'm definitely going to do some more stuff like I did on, um, I think it was Sunday when I was doing the diorama stuff. I'm going to do more of that. I've actually uh, been talking with uh, another fellow Dio person and, uh, He's been he's been giving me some good little tips and tricks. So, Captain Marvel Chase D Sparks, yes, uh, I actually picked that one up, and I'm gonna trade that to my buddy Kent Pool uh, for the Woody Woodpecker Chase. He's really into the Captain Marvel stuff. I'm not as much, so it would go better for him to go uh, to him. So that's what I'm gonna do. I got the uh, Fugitive Predator Chase. Um, like I said, this is my second one because of my, my good friend Kent Poole got me one for my birthday. Uh, the other mint in that, it, this had the 11 burger t shirt with it. And then I got the Predator Hound and the Deluxe Aquaman in my mystery boxes. So that's a win. That's a win in my book. Uh, da, da, da. You know, it's like I like doing live streams, uh, but I also like doing the videos. But I think for the, it's, it's going to be a combination of stuff. Um, I, I've been contemplating. Here's the thing. So I've had a lot of people reach out to me and talk to me about figures and 
a lot of people don't think I have figures, but I do have figures. It's just here lately, 2018 was a lot of pops. Uh, but when Toys R Us closed, I actually picked up some figures when they were going out of business. Um, and I'm really huge in the NECA. I love NECA figures. To me, that's my favorite out of all of them is NECA. Um, but I've got, I got four figures from the movie 2049, which is Blade Runner. I'm going to do a series on those four figures. I know the movies already came out, blah, 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 but it ain't about the movie. It's about the figures. Um, Friday's video, man, I'm jumping way ahead. Friday's video is going to be about a NECA figure, so you need to check that one out. Um, tomorrow's video is pop related, so check that one out. Um, but yeah, I'm going to do I'm going to do a lot more figures in 2019. Still do pops, but uh, action figures is where I got my start, and I want to I want to bring that back to. To do it, Mary Triple Seven, just do it, just do it. You'll rock it. Just do it. Just hit live. Just go live. Q figs, Q figs are cool looking. I don't have any Q figs. I'm telling you, Crazy Cameron, what's up? Um. Yeah. Hey, you know what? Live, honestly, live is easy. It really is. Um, I like live because it's real time interaction, which is really really cool. Um, I love the comments and stuff, but I like it when it's just real time. But the first one, the first one is brutally terribly awkward because you're just like, oh, what do I say? What do I say? Marvel Legends, PHH. Here's the thing. I need one more figure. One more. For the new Black Panther wave. Um, hang on. Uh, I need, who do I need? Who do I need? Because I took advantage of GameStop. They had their bag. You buy the bag for five bucks, everything that fits in it, you get 25% off. So they had four of the five. So I grabbed those four. Then I got the 25% off. Then my 10% off of being in the military. So it's like 35%. That was a no brainer. I agree. Uh, NECA. NECA is pretty flipping awesome. Uh, but you know what? But legends are cool too. I mean, these new, the new Black Black Panther uh, waves. All right, so what I need, I need Tachikaka. <laughs> I just totally ruined that name. <laughs> SH Figure Arts, yes. Um, so Hot Toys for me is Hot Toys are number one. Uh, huge play arts Kai. I've got several of those. Uh, I've got one of those I need to unbox, do a video on. Uh, Birmingham, Alabama, Sam. But I need, I need him. That's the only one I need. I went to GameStop, every GameStop I could think of. I went to one here, and they didn't have him. I don't even know if he's even released yet. But the diorama that I was doing the live stream on with the grass is pertaining to those figures. Inside scoop right there. Heck yeah, Wonder Woman, yeah. Well, Velvet Woods, what are you fixing for supper? Tell us. Michael Jordan Pop, okay, so here's, okay. So that is, um, uh, what is it? Put not Foot Locker. Is it Foot Locker? Ooh, Infinity War Thor. Snap. So 
if that one is like the LeBron pop, my store will not get any because it was only going to the stores that had a high volume, if I understand that right. PHH, no, I did not. I am still working on that. Um, it's a, it's a, it's not a high priority one. It's, it's, it's. I'm just working on it as I go because I need the weather to change a little bit better. World famous meatloaf. Oh man, meatloaf is awesome. Take a slice of meatloaf, put it on a flat top, oh, or on the grill. Ooh man. Uh, but you know what, if it's, uh, I'm going to try because I think it's what this Saturday. So I'm actually going to text my buddy Matthias and uh, see if he's heard any insight on it. Cause he, he knew more about the, uh, LeBron than I did. So, but like I said, if they do, if they do it like they did to LeBron, my store won't get one or get any. You need MJ's pop? You need it or you want it? Let's clarify. Let's clarify the words need and want. Have you ever had the hat pastrami sandwich? The hat pastrami? I've had pastrami sandwiches, but I don't think I've ever had a hat one. <laughs> oh my God, yes. Me love sandwiches the next day? Yes. Chili cheese fries. Let me tell you something about chili. All right. Go get a bag of Fritos. Little bag, Fritos. Open it up. Pour chili in the bag on top of the Fritos. A little cheese, a little sour cream. Crunch it up a little bit right out of the bag. Ooh, bikes. Ooh, nice. Chris Kawasaki. That's what I. That's what I ride, man. A KLR six fifty. See, I'm trying to figure this whole hat pastrami thing out. I'm. I'm like, whoa. I, just, I don't. I don't know. <laughs> uh, da, da, da. uh, yes. I think that would be really cool to have that moment where it's just like, you know, tongue out, whole nine yards. <laughs> hey, I'm just telling you, man, that's like how you eat it straight out of the bag. No bowls. You just, there's actually a food truck. I, I don't know where, but I saw it on the Food Network. That's how they serve uh, chili and cheese is in a bag of Fritos. Spaghetti's good. Spaghetti. All right. Gonna get some hate right now. I know it. So cook spaghetti noodles, but put chili on top of it. You gotta try it. Just gotta try it. Uh, I saw. Okay, so trivia. I saw a picture on Facebook today. I think of that. I. I other than that, it was really quick. I've not even had a chance to sit down and look more into it. But uh, if I ever find it or see it in the store, if it's coming to a store, oh, I'm definitely going to get that. SH Fig Yards makes some good stuff. Not going to lie. Good stuff. How do I find out? New pops are dropping. Um, the, the interweb groups, uh, you know, I mean, it's just networking. That's honestly, but here's the thing. You honestly have no idea how many times I walk in this store and go, what? Or, I, I mean, you can ask like Jeff the Pop Hunter, but they, I'll be like, what do you mean this is dropping? Um for box lunch and, the, and the hot topic Instagram, your local ones, a lot of times they'll post uh, what's going on. Um, but it's it's just it is what it is. Like 
like the Captain Marvel Chase that dropped this past Thursday at my GameStop. I had no idea, none whatsoever, until I think it was that Saturday we were doing the live stream, and Matthias was talking to me about it. I was like, I had no idea. So it's literally, you're going to miss more than you know about, or I do anyway. Abateer. <laughs> My favorite type of food? Um, oh, wow. Mm, now, you're talking favorite, could eat it every day, or just... <sighs> There's one particular thing that I I love sushi. Sushi is my... I could eat it every day. I love sushi. Avatar Pops. Yeah, Jeff. Okay, so if Big Bad Toy Store gets it, okay, I'll grab it from Big Big Bad 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 B B T S. <laughs> really, that's interesting, Luigi. So two thirds of the pops, wow. But yeah, um, oh man, now are they going to do a KFC Colonel Pop? Because I haven't heard anything about that. But if they do, that'd be great. Simone. Actually, that's what I had for supper tonight was pizza. And it was junky, nasty Little Caesars pizza. <laughs> Ugh. But it's quick. So, here's the thing. The, the Little Caesars here that I went to had a drive through You drove up to the window and got your hot and ready. Bam. Best fried chicken, in my opinion, um, ooh, Gus's, Gus's fried chicken, Funko Biggie Daddy, what's up? I will definitely get the KFC then, but yeah, Gus's, Gus's fried chicken is the best chicken ever. I'm in Birmingham, Alabama. Actually, so trippy. So I just found this out on the way back to the hotel is there's a Barnes & Noble like right up on the hill. So tomorrow evening when I get off work, I'm going to go to Barnes & Noble. Little Caesars, it's, it's, it's okay, but it's literally... Ugh. Foosh, yeah. Papa John's, Papa John's, yes. I just didn't have time to wait. Dr. Seuss had icon? No way. I know Lady Days. I was telling the guy there, I literally almost went live, but he was too quick. I was going to go like on Instagram live or something because I had never seen a Little Caesars drive through And I'm like, this is on point right now. This is lit. Uh-oh. Uh, da, da, da. Really? Funko Preacher? Dude, I thought, I was like, man, this is crazy. Crazy bread. Jim Henson Pop. That'd be cool. So I don't know. Like I said, 2019 is going to be a little, it's going to be, it's going to be interesting for my channel. It's going to be interesting. Um, a lot of, I got a lot of good positive feedback on, uh, the, the dio work that I was doing. And so, uh, so I don't know. I'm going to definitely do some more photography related videos because that's my passion. Collecting dad. Yes, I am in Beham. I am over, uh, oh, I don't forget where I was at. <laughs> I forgot this name. I'm over by the summit, if that helps. Yes, Lady Days. I'm, I'm with you on that one. I have to get that one. Kent Pool Live is in the house. 
Kent's been doing his coaching duties. Uh, north, um, north as in north of Alabama or north period of the country because I'll be going to Ann Arbor, Michigan probably in a couple months or so. So, what's it's like right over there. Close to sloth. You got um, you got me on that one, Kentucky Mud. I'm sorry, you got me on that one. I'm getting blown up here. This is so weird. I'm trying. I'm not completely out of my element right now. Ban who? <laughs> uh, what's, what pop is next to me? Oh. this. Uh, so we opened up a couple mystery boxes from uh, Poptopia. Um, in the first box, I got the Predator Chase and the 11 Burger T-shirt, which is really, really cool. And like I told everybody before, my, my buddy Kent Pool. Put me up for one of these for my birthday. Um, and then the second box, I got this, which is awesome. Uh, we actually took this one out of the box. The detail on this thing is crazy cool. And like I was saying, this is better than the Batman and the Joker. As far as detail and coloring, I think this is the better one. Um, and I got the Predator Hound. Iron Patriot, where do you want to collab at? I'm all up for collabing, man. Yeah. Indeed. But yeah, the uh, I'm really, I mean, so based on the money, uh, I broke even. Maybe plus a dollar. Ooh, Josh Pants. Memorable toy-related hunt. Josh, you know the answer to that one. That's that's that that's an easy one. Um, I had two in 2018. Um, actually three. So meeting up with Josh and Foxy for real and Big Dub. That was amazing. Meeting up with Ryan for the first time was awesome. And then meeting up with him and then Kent Pool. That was about three all time number one moments of 2018. Uh, most memorable pickup. Okay, so. Oh, sorry. I need it. Wow. So my most. Mem Memorable pickup was SDC, SDCC, when everyone, I had three people come together, and all three of them went out and picked up Nux cars for me at the same time, and it was like, wow. I just couldn't believe it. And just because everybody knew that was my grail for SDCC, that was the one pop that I really wanted the, the most. Uh, I missed it, and as soon as I missed it, you know, I think I made a video or else was live or something. I don't remember what it was. I was like, oh, man, I missed that. Next thing I know, with, within literally hours, people were like, hey, if I get it, I'm going to get you one. Boom, boom, boom. And, you know, I paid for all three of them, and that was just, that really showed me a lot about the community because, you know, these are people that I'd never personally met. Uh, so yeah, celebration, I don't know, that's in Chicago, right, not a big fan of the city, that is, collecting dad, you're correct, so that was, that was the things that meant the most to me in, in 2018 was, you know, uh, 
I mean, because like Josh, Josh and Cincy was the two first two people that I really started watching YouTube videos on. And I remember when Josh and uh, did his collab with Cincy, the very first one. Then all of a sudden, you know, Josh is starting doing videos, and I literally religiously watched Josh's videos and watched his channel grow. And I'm just like, man, this flocking dude is amazing, and it just got the old juices going, and and I just, you know. I don't know. It was. It was. It meant a lot to me. Uh, yes, I have been to Chicago. My corporate office is actually located in Chicago. Not a big fan. <laughs> uh, I mean, it's a beautiful city. It's just. It's just too much. It's just too much. I'm just. I'm just a country boy, man. I'm just a country boy. Too much steel and concrete. I got to have trees and mountains and rivers. and I mean, and here's the thing. All respect for people who live in the city. Mad respect. If that's you, that's you. But I'm sorry. There ain't a building on this planet that can beat a tree. I'm sorry. <laughs> what? Josh Pence with a super chat. Man, you didn't have to do that. Thank you, brother. Oh, I don't know if you was here when I showed this, Josh, but here at this hotel, uh, they give you this um, beverage card, right? Between 5.30 and 7. This is my drink card. I get three a day free. <laughs> That's I like hotels like this. <laughs> So when this live stream's over in about 20 minutes, I'm going to get my drink, at least one. And I bet none of y'all can figure out what my drink is. And I will tell you this right now, it is not beer. I do want to go to Miami. I will say that. <clears throat> That's right, Lady Days. You're a Chicagoan. <laughs> now I'm not gonna get I'm not I'm not gonna get I'm not gonna get uh Liddy. Um no Kentucky whiskey. I don't drink often. And it's very <laughs> no not rum and coke. Not champagne. I will tell you this, it's uh sweet tea. Yes. But not at the bar. Nope, Jeff, Sundrop. Nope, that's Jetta. He's a, no, wait a minute. My brother-in-law's a Sundrop guy. I think Jetta likes Sundrop too. Squirt. It does have, my drink does have alcohol in it. Scotch. No, I'm not a Scotch guy. I would tell you this though. I do have a quart of uh, moonshine in my fridge at the house. No, not bourbon. Sweet tea and whiskey? Ooh. Uh, I have been to New Orleans. Excuse me, Nolans. I love Nolans. Ooh, Crown and Coke. No, Screwdriver. No, Red's Apple Ale. I have tried those. Those are good. Nope, can't do the Long Islands. No crap, no screwdrivers. Ooh, Kimmy Marie. It does have vodka in it. Yes, it does have vodka. So that narrows it down. <laughs> hot cocoa. Hey, don't be disrespecting hot cocoa. Hot cocoa has its place in the world. Do you hear me? Hot cocoa has its place in the world. <laughs> All right, fine. There. Boom. Bach and pineapple. I've never had that. This is for Josh. Why am I scaring you, bro? What am I scaring you about? <laughs> Ooh, shaking, not stirred. Nope. 
Not a martini. Hmm. Hang on. Oh, man. Lady Dazed. This is for you. So there's a, there's a pizza restaurant in Chicago that I absolutely uh, love. I'm probably going to butcher this. Dude. Josh, dude. Um, Pequaws. I think I'm saying that right. Pequaws, Pequaws I think. Best freaking deep dish ever. And the reason why, the pan, it's a little pan, right? And the pans are like 100 years old. And what they do is they take mozzarella cheese, line the bottom of the pan, and come up over the side. So when they bake it, that cheese gets burnt. Oh, my God, it's awesome. There, there you go, Iron, Iron Patriot. But I also had a drink while I was in Chicago a couple years ago. Uh, limoncello. <laughs> oh, my God. If you ever get a chance to have a limoncello, oh, my Lord. That thing will. It. Mm-mm. <laughs> it's 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 sweet and lemony. It does not taste like alcohol. I mean, you'll be taking your finger and getting every bit of it out of the glass. It comes in little shot glasses. Oh my lord, it will mess your world up. Okay, so IP, you know the place I'm talking about, so good. Um, I'm not a big fan of deep dish until I had that one. Because number one, deep, it's just too much. It's too much pizza. Uh, but man, with that, oh, that is a good place to go. It's a good place. But man, those limoncellos, oh, it's syrupy. It's like a syrup. And it's thick. But it's got that. It's almost like a. It's vodka and lemon peels. And it like. Ferments or something for like six months. It's crazy the process. Dang it. Three times a month. See that's why I couldn't. I will say this for big cities. If you're a foodie, big cities. Straight up, big cities. You know, Chicago, New York, Philadelphia, California, L.A., Port, uh, Oregon, you know, Washington State, just tons of good. If you're a foodie. Pizza is the ultimate comfort food. I agree. I do agree. German chocolate cake shot. I have never heard of that. But now, I wonder if I can go downstairs to the bar and go, hey, make me a German chocolate shake uh, shot. <laughs> uh, rest of the stream, also, we're probably going to end it here in about another 10 minutes or so. Uh, just for the fact that I need to get some uh, actual work done. And I've got some emails i got to send out. and Sort of got to plan out my day tomorrow. Yeah. It's going to be busy. I'm going to be busy. i got to get a lot done before another company comes in to move furniture. i got to get all the computer equipment, power stuff, networking, cabling, everything out. So they can come in tomorrow, uh, Thursday, and move all the furniture. Well, then i got to rewire everything. So yeah, uh, yeah, I have heard of Boston cream pie. I think I've only had it like once though. Okay, so the next time I come to Chicago, Chicago, uh, for a work trip, 
Uh, I will definitely let you know Lady Days and whoever else is in the area. Uh, maybe we can meet up at a restaurant or something. Because So typically when I go to Chicago, I stay at the Hotel Lincoln. Uh, I like the Hotel Lincoln personally. Uh, it's got a really good view, the the park area. And the, but it's just an old older hotel. But So Lady Days, if you know where the Hotel Lincoln is, then we're good. Because the only thing I know about Chicago is Hotel Lincoln, Viagra Alley, <laughs> at least that's what they told me it was called, um, and where my company's headquarters is at. Other than that, I don't know a lot about Chicago. Hey, you know, that's the thing about my live streams. We're going to talk about, a lot of times, we're just going to talk about what you guys want to talk about. You know? I'm still working on it, Josh. Moderation. Nice. Nice, IP. Yes. Sweet. Dude. Pants, you're killing me. Thank you. Night of Wren, that's what, that's what they told me this area is called. There's lots of restaurants. There's lots of things. But it's where the men of wealth and age have younger girlfriends. That's what I understand. I don't know for sure. That's just what I was talking but there's an Italian restaurant. That's where I had the limoncello at. There's an Italian restaurant there. Oh, so my drink that I'm going to have tonight, since no one guessed it, I'm a VC guy, a vodka cranberry. But in honor of Kimmy Marie, I think I'm going to go try a vodka pineapple. I've never had that, so I'm going to go try it. That's going on the card. So, yeah. <laughs> I know what you're laughing at, Lady Days. You probably know exactly what I'm talking about in the area. Because you're from Chicago. So, there's a guy that I work I work with. He's from Chicago. And I do this to him because it literally makes his head explode when I do this. I say Illinois. Just because I know it literally makes his head explode. But like, hey, when's the next time you're going to Illinois? And I, I mean, I just noise. That's not the way you say it. And I'm like, sorry, bro. <laughs> Limoncellos. Hey, you know what, Lady Days? It does taste like summer. That's a good analogy. I like that. It tastes like summer. Summer in a shot glass. All right, brother. See you, Jeff. <laughs> so we've got, okay, so let me look here real quick. So in case you missed it, next Tuesday, you know, we got the little wheel thing going on now, which everybody seemed to enjoy. So that'll be uh, making a, its weekly thing at the toy table. With pet names? Okay. So let's see here. I need 170 more, 171 more subs to be at 2,500. Gotta make this happen by the end of the month. I've got, a, I've got stuff I want to give away. Favorite soda, dude. Soda's bad for you. I need to quit, but right there. I'm a new guy. CIP. Spit some rice. <laughs> uh, Vodka and Red Bull. But, hey, VCs, I love VCs. As long as they're not too red. The beauty of a VC is if you go to a bar, you know if they've made it strong or weak. The redder it is, the weaker it is. So, 
That's the beauty of a BC. Do I, I every once in a while? It's not something I can do all the time. Whoa, cream soda. Sprite cranberry. Sprite cranberry and beast and vodka is good too. You know, the funny thing, Brandon, I've never had vodka in Mountain Dew. I've never had it. I don't I don't want to ruin a perfectly good Mountain Dew. Dr. Pepper, nothing wrong with that. Ten, two, and four. Yes, you are, Mary. You're judging me. You're judging me. <laughs> they're all, seriously, though, they're all bad for you. They're all bad for you. They are so bad for you. Too much sugar. But here's the thing. All day tomorrow, I'll be drinking water. So this is, I've had this one going on for like four hours now. So... Tastes like college. Texas Dr. Pepper. <laughs> what? Bubble gum vodka and cherry Kool-Aid. What? <laughs> Rocket Sprite. Oh, okay. I like that. I like that. Nothing wrong with that. See, you, Danny. All right, guys. I think I am going to uh, call it an end for the hotel edition of Toy Table Talk. Uh, as always, I appreciate every one of you. I think we had like 50, 50 something people in here. Blows my mind. That's one of my biggest goals for 2019 is to get that number higher on Tuesdays. That's my biggest goal for 2019. It's not really like big sub numbers, but for the live stream, especially on Tuesdays, drink what you enjoy. There you go. <laughs> uh, but uh, seriously, guys, I appreciate you all. Thank you so much for being here with me tonight in this hotel room, which made it so much better because hotel rooms aren't fun at all. But I uh, hope you guys have a great rest of the week. I've uh, got a video dropping tomorrow, and I'll have another one dropping on Friday. So make sure to check those out. We'll be doing the uh, therapy table <laughs> on Saturday morning. So there's a lot going on right now. So, hey, guys, I hope you all have a good night, and uh, we'll do this again real soon, I promise. So bye, everybody.